Businesses along Central say just when they started to think some of the work for the controversial ART project is wrapping up, construction workers are back out the next day to tear it all up and start over. This is the second time in one month the city says concrete that's been laid has cracked, but it has no explanation as to why. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live at Rio Grande and Central. Marissa. Dean, just yesterday, that strip of concrete behind me looked complete, but this morning crews came out and started to dig it up, and businesses say they know why. That's not the sound of construction crews tidying up their work. Instead, those drills are the sound of crews starting all over. It's kind of amazing because, you know, the project's been going on for a while now, and it just seems like there's, there's a lot of backtracking. Businesses along Central near Rio Grande tell us this isn't the first time. They tore it out about three weeks ago and had to re that as well. Rain tunnel manager Curtis Flanders tells us construction crews came back about three weeks ago to dig up and replace a different section of the red concrete they had just poured a few days before. Now it's the gray concrete near the intersection. From what they told us was that the concrete didn't meet the uh, cold. Construction companies routinely meet with the businesses to give them updates on the project. That's where several say they learned crews would be back to tear up the newly laid section of concrete. The reason? They say they were told during testing the concrete didn't withhold the pressure from the buses and cracked. The city's ART spokesperson, Joni Griffin, says that's not true. She admitted the concrete cracked but had nothing to do with the weight of the bus. She sent us a statement saying, quote, the concrete passed the stress test. However, over time, it would have to be replaced. We chose to do it now and not a year from now. Whatever the reason, business owners say they're left to pay the price, with extra days of ART construction hurting their businesses. We found out that this is going to go on at least till August. If this is an indication of what's going on, it's probably going to be a lot longer than that. Business owners say the next portion of this project means digging up the sidewalks and the entrances to their businesses. They're hoping that portion goes a little bit smoother. Back to you, Dean. All right, Marissa, thank you. Now, the city insists this is the only section they needed to replace because of cracks, and they will be changing the concrete mix, they say, for that area.